It is the sound of hope for a people who had to flee their homes in search of peace and stability. They are Sudanese refugees living at a camp in Chad. Life has become difficult for them, forcing them to devise ways that would lighten their burden. Some of them have set up small businesses to help provide the thousands of refugees with basic needs. I'm using this meal so that people in the camp can have flour. In the first few days, we suffered a lot from the lack of meals because we left them in Darfur. But we had to take a risk and had to bring them back here to grind corn for the people. Those with cash pay for these services, while others fall a butter-like system. The people here do not have cash and we work through a butter trade-like system. When they bring in corn, we grind it and take some of the flour. Whoever has cash, we take the money from them, and whoever doesn't have, we just do it for them. Other services offered at the refugee camp are tailoring services, barber services, and a smaller panel used to supply much-needed electricity, enough for refugees to charge their mobile phones. If aid agencies support us, we can establish a training center for children, bring in more fabric, and tailor to sizes. This is a craft and it needs practical training for the community inside the camp. We wouldn't have to live life in this kind of a situation, but we were forced to, and now we're inside the refugee camp. If we find any support, we can expand our work. Some of the people practice their actual jobs, while others land inside the camp to provide for their families. Previously, I did not work as a barber, but after we came here and the conditions became very tragic, it became very difficult to make a living and my mother and father died. I learned the profession here in order to support my family. I have two sisters. Because there is no electricity in this area, I got a solar power panel to charge mobile phones. The ongoing fight in Sudan has displaced almost two and a half million people, both within Sudan and to neighboring countries. Over 180,000 Sudanese have fled to Chad since the conflict began over 100 days ago. Wanjamongai, CGTN.